today I'm going to show you how to use uh, HTML5, Sketch.js and Kinetic.js in order to do photo annotation. I had to do this recently for a client um, and I thought it was pretty good that it's available uh, straight through the browser. Uh, it's only uh, working with Firefox and Google Chrome at the moment uh, because they support the file read HTML5 API um, but basically it works on mobile which is the biggest thing so it works on mobile Safari and I've tested um, mobile Chrome as well and that, that works so it suits my client but all the other browsers will catch up eventually or they should anyway um, so I'll just show you what it actually does so you can browse and you can select the picture it loads in the picture which is uneditable um, and then we have the ability to edit and annotate, change the size of the paintbrush or whatever and then we can actually combine uh, the two layers and we can have a final image and this is actually an image that uh, we could save save to the desktop or do whatever um, and we can attach it uh, to a API service or a RESTful service or something or do whatever we wanted to or email it to people um, so it all happens uh, in that process so I'll just um, dive straight into the code. Page source, uh, we'll be able to see that there's nothing uh, in the actual HTML itself. Uh, we're, we write it all in the, in the jQuery file. Uh, so I'm loading in jQuery library of 2.1. I'm uh, referencing to Kinetic.js, uh, referencing to Sketch.js, and the file that I've created is called Annotate.js, which basically combines all the all the three things and actually makes it work. So let's have a look at the annotate.js file. Okay. So here we are. Um, so basically at the start I've just declared some global variables. Um, one for the stage, which is actually um, it's going to hold all the information about the drawing uh, layer and uh, the drawing layer and the picture layer and it will actually um, allow us to combine them together. Uh, the function uh, when the web page first loads just goes through create layout then binds the events and then creates the annotate stage. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to have a look, quick look at the create layout. Um, create layout is just basically pushing a whole bunch of uh, elements into the body of the HTML. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. It's nothing to do with uh, the it, nothing out of the ordinary that you probably haven't seen before. The only thing is that we're using this uh, this input type here, uh, which is basically uh, the the HTML5 version of input for the file, and we're going to accept only images. Okay, at this stage. Okay, I've got. Uh, a few divs and containers uh, which we'll reference back to in a minute but I'll leave that expanded so we can go to the next thing. Um, the bind events function is actually where the bulk of the um, uh, functionality actually happens so what I'll do is I'll leave that one for now and just go uh, to the create annotate stage. So this is where the kinetic uh, JS actually jumps in. So we're going to set this variable which is uh, the stage to be a new kinetic stage uh, which is going to be the container of my annotation and if I highlight that we can actually see that this is my annotation here. I've specified the height and the width um, and then I'm going to actually s um, define what each of these variables, uh, the global variables are, are and they're both kinetic layers um, and uh, along with the combine layer which is going to be um, used to combine both the picture layer and the annotate layer together in order to generate the final image that we end up with. Um, the reset fields function is just basically so we can start again. Um, not really important if you only want to run the thing once uh, but that's just there as well. So now we'll jump into it. So this um, this actual definition here is basically saying that we want to use this container um, to be a stage so Kinetic is aware of it uh, and we want to eventually we're going to add layers uh, which are the layers that I've defined after it. So we're going to add a total of three layers and the third layer is the one that's going to be converted into a actual image that can be used to save things. So 
uh, the way that Kinetic actually works is that each layer is its own canvas and they get added one after the other. Um, so you can actually see in the um, in the DOM itself that uh, there are going to be three canvases and uh, they'll be each stacked on top of each other which contain different information. Okay, so now let's go to the bind events button. So the first one, we're actually going to bind a change event to this uh, input file. So whenever we select a new file, I want to fire this thing and do a whole bunch of stuff in here. So remember, we've already got the stage uh, defined and we've all already got the layers and things defined. So if we go into here, basically what we're going to say is, um, okay, we're going to reset the fields uh, and we're going to set uh, variable f to be the, the target of the file basically the file that's been included in that input okay we're going to check if it's an image even though I've got only accept image just in case and then uh, if it is an image then we're all good to go and we can start creating the reader so this is the part that isn't supported by Internet Explorer or Safari at this stage uh, but it will be in the future according to the HTML5 spec um, so basically we're going to create a new file reader and then we're going to bind a um, a function after the load of of the um, after the reader has finished doing its load. So on load, we're going to take the data URL from reader result. So the data URL is just a kind of a um, a base64 uh, data strip that we can actually push into a uh, image if we wanted to. In this case, we're pushing it straight into the source of uh, the image here. Okay, so after that is done, then we start getting into the kinetic side of things. So we want to take this data URL and we actually want to load it onto one of the layers, right, which we have defined in, in kinetic, and then add, add it to there. So what we do is we actually define um, an image object, uh, and we're going to define it as a new image and then we've defined an onload for the image object itself so after the image has finished loading we want to do all this stuff um, so we'll I'll, I'll come back to this what we want to do after it's loaded but we actually want to specify image object dot source is data URL so after this data URL has been loaded and rendered successfully we want to go through and then go okay we're going to get the loaded image um, and this is where we define a new kinetic image and we define where it's going to sit in relation to the canvas itself uh, so we're going to set it to the top left so it's going to appear and right downwards we could change that if we wanted to but we don't need to uh, we're going to specify the height and the width of the image and we're going to specify the image itself is the image object okay or the image object okay after we've actually done that and got the loaded image with the new kinetic image, we can add that to the picture layer, which we defined previously. Okay, we, we defined it down here. And after that is added, then we can add the picture layer itself to the stage, which we also have defined down here. Okay, and finally, we want to add the annotate layer. So the annotate layer is not going to have any objects in it, it's just going to be basically like a clear film that's going to sit on top of it um, where we can annotate and do all our drawings and things. So we're just going to add the annotate layer which we've um, defined previously. Now because we have added that last we can actually grab annotate layer or drawing layer whatever you want to call it and we can set that uh, object to be the, uh, the first it's in a zero indexed uh, canvas it's actually going to be the one that equals number one because we've added it last if we wanted to reference the picture layer we'd put equal to zero instead of equal to one okay so we also want to um, add an, a, a, an attribute of annotation drawing and this is so we can actually apply the skip the sketch itself uh, so we've added we've added the ID of annotation drawing and we're going to use sketch.js in order to set this object to be a sketch and we're going to have it a default size of 2 and default color of yellow okay so that's all fine uh, this is just kind of a bit of bells and whistles that I've kind of added I wanted to have the ability to change the color of the annotation and I wanted to have the ability to change the size you don't need to add this if you don't want but this is all basically um, straight from the sketch.js uh, website. 
So it's, it's I'm basically looping through these colors and saying add these to the annotation tools and also add these sizes to the the annotation tools. So that's all good. Um, and then we're we're all ready to go. Um, the the thing that obviously fires it all off is that we call this uh, reader dot read as data URL with f. So f is the obviously the file that has been um, pulled across. So we're going re reader dot read as data URL, and this is also something that's not supported on um, Internet Explorer and Safari at the moment. Okay, so after this gets called, then we obviously the the reader dot onload function gets called. We set the you are your image small to that data URL and then we create all the stages and everything like that and everything's ready to go okay so we'll show that in actually in action so if I, okay so I select the blue so as soon as I hit this change bang we see this one is actually an image which I can move around and everything like that if I actually inspect the element we can see that it's been created with this large blob um, that's that's there if we scroll down to the next part uh, so this is the annotate on image part uh, we can actually see that this annotation is made up of kinetic js div uh, so that's created when we create the stage and then it's made up of two canvas elements so one and then two so they're actually the one so we've got one called annotation drawing that's the one that we select and remember when we put the eq equals one or eq one um, and this one's the picture element so when i start drawing on it i'm actually drawing on that that layer that's above um, which is actually this annotation drawing layer and that's why i can change the, the size and things like that okay so we've got our annotation it's on top of the photo but now we want to combine it into the um, to that final image into my annotation result. So let's go back to the code. So once we go back to the code, we can actually um, we'll just close that one up and we're ready to combine the image. So I'm doing this uh, the same way that I'm actually, well, that I did the, the original one. I'm actually going to add this when that combine is clicked. I want to combine. I'm specifying a new image object and I'm specifying the source is my annotation canvas. So we're looking for the canvases within, um, uh, yeah, within the my annotation area and we're looking for the first one here and we're going to convert that to a data URL. Now once we've converted that to a data URL, that's that's actually saying, okay, well, I want you to load this image in. So on load, after we, we've loaded it in, we want to do exactly the same as before. We're defining uh, its X and Y coordinates, width and height, and the image is actually going to be the image object itself. Now this time, instead of adding it to the picture layer or the annotate layer, we're actually adding it to the combine layer. So the combine layer um, is getting the loaded image and then we're adding it to the stage. Then we're calling stage to data URL and we're giving it a callback and then after the callback is actually complete, um, we can then uh, basically push that my annotation result image in as a new data URL. Now you might be asking yourself the question of, well why didn't you just do stage.2 data URL? Why did you need this third combined layer? Uh, the reason is that Sketch.js and Kinetic.js have no idea that each other exist. Um, so Sketch.js, if you were to do just stage.2 data URL without actually adding it to the combined layer, it wouldn't actually fetch um, both layers, it would just fetch the underlying picture layer, um, which is something that I struggled with to begin with. So this is the way that I've, I've come across a solution, just add another layer and actually combine. Uh, so this, where we're calling the source here, we're actually looking at uh, the number one uh, element, which is going to be the the last one that we added, which the, in this case, the last one we added was the annotate layer. So I'm actually going, okay, I want to take this annotate layer, I want to kind of rasterize it as in lack of a better term and and push it uh, to the top layer of the combine. So then when I do do a stage.2 data URL, yes, there are three canvases now, but it's only going to grab uh, canvas zero and canvas two because canvas um, one is still a sketch JS and it hasn't been kind of messed around with or converted into uh, kinetics kind of mindset yet. 
So after we've um, we've done that, then we're all good to go and we kind of can have a look at the result. So if I go in and we, we have a look at the result, so I've clicked the combine image and we can see that this is now an image. So in the annotation itself, we can see that there are three. So we can see this one's the annotation drawing and this one is that, um, I suppose, third uh, one, which is the combined layer, which is the one that we go stage.2 URL and it will go, okay, I, I can see data on this one, I can see data on this one. I don't really know what's happening on this one because it's still an active, oh, well, it's, um, it's, it's a sketch that I can't really see, um, but in the end it can kind of grab them, push them together and then create this final image for us, which is an image that can, that has a different blob to the original, uh, where's the original image here. So if you put them side by side, so now you can do all weird and wonderful things like save the image, or you can actually uh, add it up to a, um, upload it to a, a RESTful API or whatever you want to do with it. Um, so that's it. All the code will be made available on online, um, and it's probably in the link description below. I'll also put a, a link to the different libraries that I've used, so uh, kinetic.js and sketch.js, and there should be also a link um, to a HTML, uh, HTML5 API uh, where I got some of the code snippets from in order to actually read the files in to begin with. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I'm Robert Webster from 1UpIT. Uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.